Hey everyone, welcome to Pink Tutu Tarot. So today's reading is all about your person. We're gonna find out what's going on with them. Like, why are they acting this way? Like, they must be acting in a strange way. Um, and Spirit wants you to, you know, wants to help you understand why, <laughs> what's going on. So, I've already done the readings. I'm doing the intro after I've already done them. These cards came from your reading. So I'm gonna show the cards to you. Let you select the one that feels right to you and that resonates with you, that's calling to you in some way. And then all you have to do is go down into the description box, click on the timestamp for that group, for that card, and it will take you straight to your reading. All right, so group one, your card is number 43, and it says the courage of love. Okay. For group two, your card is number 62, and it says identifications, identifications. And for card, or group three, your card is number 12, and it says superficiality. All right, so go on down into the description box, click on the timestamp or the chapters below uh, for the group you wanna watch, and I will see you there. Thanks, y'all. Hey, group one. All right, we are gonna take a look at what is going on with your person. Why are they acting like this? So, um, Spirit's gonna let us know. All right, so your first card is card number 43, and it says, The Courage of Love. All right. Yeah, your person is, there's something um, that is scaring them. They're afraid of something. They might be afraid to commit. They might be afraid of their own feelings. They might be just afraid of the future um, with you in some way. It's like they're scared of what's coming and what that means. and what the ramifications are for them and how Spirit's saying how everything could change in a minute, in a second. And it's like they don't want to go through that again. They don't want to experience that side of it again. Not the love and not the relationship, but like there's they're they're afraid. Okay. Well that's a place to start. Let's get some tarot on the table. Let's see what else we can see about your person and why they're acting this way and what's going on with them. I'm going to do some tarot cards and then I've got some message cards at the end as well. We have the Ace of Wands reversed, the Moon reversed, King of Cups reversed, and the World reversed. We're going to pull one more card just as some advice for you in dealing with them or what, you know, whatever Spirit wants to tell you. And we have the nine of, nine of Pentacles for your advice card. All right. Okay, give me just a second. I want to take these cards in, listen for some initial messages from Spirit for you, and then we'll talk about what's going on here um, and what's going on with your person. All right, so give me just a second. The 
Yeah, Spirit's saying they're afraid to commit in some way. Like 100%. They're like afraid of going forward. And to commit, they're just saying the word commit. They're saying they're not confident in what? They're not confident in themselves and in being able to sustain that. Anything else, Spirit? The Spirit is saying, wanted me to, wants me to tell you, this is not about you. You are not to blame. It has nothing to do with the way they feel about you. Other than the fact that they feel a lot for you. And it scares them. Because they don't want to be hurt. And they don't want to hurt you. And I, I know it's, it's hard to do, but Spirit's saying don't take it personally because this is not your fault it's not a reflection of you it's their own insecurities and their like habits and their past that has them acting this way okay interesting all right so let's talk about these cards here your first card for them is the Ace of Wands reversed. All right. Um, Spirit's saying that your person wants more than just like a sexual, intimate kind of sexual relationship. They want more, they feel more than that. Um... But because they're in this, in this weird place internally, and everything is internal. Look, all of these cards are up in reverse. It's such an internal energy. It's like they, they, they don't want to give you one if they can't give you the other. So they may have withdrawn some from you. Um, if you had a physical relationship in any way, it doesn't have to be sex, it can be anything, um, you know, physical. Spirit's laughing at me. They're saying, well, that's sex. Okay, y'all take it as it resonates for you. <laughs> um, it, what they're giving me is that they, they pulled back on one because they, have, they feel like they have to pull back on the other. That makes sense. They can't give you everything and so they're, they're stopping and like giving nothing. Hmm. Okay. And then we have here the moon reversed. Give me just one second, they're telling me something. Yeah, what they're saying, it, it's not that they're afraid of something, you know. It's not that they're afraid of something happening. It's like they have clarity or they think they do. They think they're doing the right thing. Like doing the hard thing to protect you, to protect themselves. It's not what they want. It, it's what they think they have to do. And they feel very clear about it. <laughs> it doesn't feel like to them like a fear or like something they could just shake off. It's like they feel very logical about it. even though what they're actually feeling is not really logical at all. 
but they think it is. Okay. Then we have the King of Cups reversed. Um, Spirit saying, withdrawing their love. They're, yeah, they're not, they are um, disconnecting from you. They're detaching from you in order to save themselves and protect you. It's a, it's, <laughs> Spirit's saying it's very much an overreaction to something. But they don't see that. Again, they think they're being very clear-headed, very logical, very cut and dry about this. But in reality, they're not. They're actually being overly emotional about this. They're just not used to their own emotions in some way. And so they don't recognize it as emotion. They think it's being smart. Anything else with the King of Cups? Spirit's saying they're not going to stay away. They'll, they should be coming back around to you. And, and again, I'm seeing that here, actually, with the, with the world reversed. Spirit's saying it's not over. They'll, they're coming back around. It's up to you if you want to let them, right? If you want to welcome them back when they work their way back to you or when they open themselves back up to you. But it isn't over unless you want it to be. Like from their point of view, no. Spirit's saying from Spirit's point of view, they can see that it's not over um, for your person. In other words, their feelings for you will um, win out over this overreaction to something that they're having, this fear that they have. Their love for you, their feelings for you will pull them back toward you, pull them back around. It's like a tug of war is what I'm like feeling, be you know, between what they want and what they are telling themselves they have to do. And like, they're very disciplined in that way. Like, they can they can turn off what they want and like just shut it down but it can only last so long and then this wall that they built up will start to crumble interesting okay let's get some more cards let's see what else spirit can tell us about your person and what's going on with them why they're acting this way We have Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords, Six of Swords reversed, and Queen of Swords reversed. And I'm gonna pull one more, just to get a little more detail on the advice. We haven't gotten into the advice from Spirit yet for you, but, um, but we will. And we have lovers reversed. Okay. So, 
Ace of Wands reversed and the Ten of Wands. <laughs> it's actually taking a lot of effort. They've got a lot. It's like they put the burden of so much on their shoulders when it comes to you and your relationship. That it is weighing them down. They're working really hard to like block you out. Okay. So then the moon reversed in the seven of swords. Again, like we were what I was saying earlier. Um, they feel like they're very clear on this. They feel like they are doing what they have to do. And again, with the Ten of Wands, it's like they have to do the work, right? They have to do this. It's their job, right? To protect you and protect themselves. And it's the same here. The moon reversed. They think they're thinking clearly and logically as they sneak away and stop talking or cut you off or ignore you, right? or disappear in whatever way that they've kind of, you know, gone MIA. They're not trying to be cruel. They're not trying to be sneaky. They're not trying to get away with anything. Like anything deceptive. They're just trying to get away from you because they feel like they cannot withstand and sustain these feelings they have for you. It's like some kind of like emotional immaturity. They can't see themselves being able to stay committed to you and like have a like grown up relationship. <laughs> and so rather than hurt you and hurt themselves, they're just cutting you off. But why, tell me why spirit, they feel like they can't do this. Saying, because they're afraid. They're actually, af <laughs> which makes no sense. Spirit saying, they're actually afraid they're going to lose you. And so it's like they're, they're trying to cut it now before it happens, which makes no sense, y'all, right? Like they don't want to lose you, so they cut ties, you know, cut ties, which ultimately leads to them losing you. But it's like in their own mind, they know they'll be back around. It's, it's a mind game, but they're not playing it with you. It's a mind game in their own mind. They're not trying to deceive you or trick you in any way. But they are succeeding in doing that to themselves. Interesting. Okay, so King of Cups reversed. Six of Swords reversed. The truth is they feel empty without you. They don't have a place or a person that feels like home when they don't have you. And that's why they're going to be coming back around. They will, like, wherever they've gone or cut you off or whatever happened, they're not gone for good. They're coming back because they can't stand to not be around you. And yet they still force themselves to do it. It's so bizarre. It all comes down to fear. Fear of commitment, fear of change. Fear that they can't live up to the promise that commitment means. 
Hmm. Okay. So then we have the world reversed and the queen of swords reversed. Again, this isn't over. They're coming back around. They'll be they'll be back before you know it actually. When their heart <laughs> starts to win over their mind, it will lead them back to you. It's like it's really like they're fighting themselves. It's so it's such a weird feeling. What else did you want to say about the Queen of Wands here? Okay. Yeah, they're saying the Queen of Wands reversed is them, regardless of gender. It's not male or female. It's that the Queen of Swords is, you know, she's got two sides to her. She has the air side of the sword, right? The thinker, the overthinker. Um one who's able to like cut somebody off if they need to, you know, to because it's the right thing to do, because it's the smart thing to do. But queens also have a side to them that are water, that are cups, that are emotion. And it will come to the point and not long from now, which is why the queen of swords is reversed, that the emotion side, the compassionate side, the loving side, the the water side of this queen is going to rise to the top and the sword is going to go down. Okay, so what do you do about it? <laughs> What's the advice from spirit? Nine of Pentacles, lovers reversed. First off, spirit is saying what you do when they come back around is a personal choice, right? Right? And that won't be the same for everybody watching this video. You know what you're willing to put up with and you know what you can deal with in the name of love, right, for this person. But in the meantime, learn to be okay with your own company. Learn to be good with yourself. They've broken ties, right? In some way, with the lovers reversed. Spirit is saying, leave it, leave it broken. Don't chase after them. Don't beg for them to come back. Don't even cry about them if you can help it. And certainly don't let them know that you're crying about them. You have to be in control of your own, your own energy and your own space and your own emotions. And this isn't about you exactly, right? It's their own tug of war in their own head, like between their head and their heart, right? They're fighting themselves. And frankly, you can't get in the middle of it. You can, but, but it won't do any good. Give them the space, give them the time, learn to be okay, learn to be good, on your own. In the meantime, right? And when they come back around, reevaluate and decide for yourself what, you know, what you want to do from there. Interesting. Anything else you wanted to say, Spirit, on that? Okay. All right. Let's get some messages. See what else Spirit wants to tell us on behalf of your person. I'm not who you think I am. And I'm sorry I failed you. It wasn't my intention. They deal with so much blame and so much guilt in their own selves. 
they put this barrier up. There's so much insecurity with them when it comes to relationships. Okay. I'm taking my walls down brick by brick and they are, and I miss our shenanigans. They do miss you. And it's funny, Spirit's telling me with the, I'm not who you think I am. You know, Spirit's kind of giving me the, the impression that you actually do know who they are very well. Like you see right through them in some way. Like it feels like a lot of this reading is not a huge surprise to you. It kind of just confirms what you were probably already thinking, or at least most of you. So he, the, he or she is what you think they are. They just don't think you know them. They don't, they think there's something else. <laughs> and it comes down to guilt and insecurity. I just can't. Please stop asking. Goes back to this advice here. Don't chase after them. Give them their space. Let them take this time to fight themselves. Remember, it's not about, I mean, it is about you, but it's not about you. It's not that they don't like you, love you, care about you, have lots of feelings for you because it, this is exactly the reason why they're acting this way, which I get to, you know, people who are, who have some emotional maturity, it doesn't make any sense. But that is what's going on. Okay, anything else, Spirit? Okay. I love you, but I also like you. It's an interesting message. So yes, they love you, right? Of course they, I mean, I don't wanna say of course, because you may have some doubts. You may wonder why are they acting this way? Do they even love me? They do love you, but more than that, they like you, right? It's like you have a friendship. You have a, this connection between you that is, you enjoy each other's company, but they certainly enjoy yours. So it's, there are so many complicated emotions with them and they don't know where to go next with it. And so what do they do when they get afraid, when they get nervous, when they get insecure, when they're thinking they can't um, continue to be what you want them to be because you don't know them, they think. So they think they're taking, they're doing the difficult thing by cutting things off. But they can't stand to be away from you for very long. They have too many feelings for you, strong feelings. And, and you're, you're too... You're too much their friend also. Like it's... It's like they miss everything about you. And so it really is a tug of war for them. This is not easy for them and I'm not making excuses by any stretch. I just want you to know that this isn't, um, you know, if you took it on the surface of, you know, of how it looks, you could think all sorts of things, right? You could assume they don't really like you. They don't really love you. They're, you know, maybe off cheating on you, right? None of those things. It's not happening. They care about you so much and it's it's getting to them. It's messing with their head. They need to build up 
their own courage, right? The courage of love, they need to build that up. They need to build that strength up in themselves. And it's, it, it'll happen. It, it takes time. All right. Anything else, Spirit? They're just saying they'll be back. Just know that. Take this time in the meantime to just learn to enjoy your own company and be good with yourself and for yourself. It's important. It's really important with this person that you learn to be okay with your own company because the more you chase them, the more they're going to keep running. All right, group one. I hope that helped. I hope it kind of gives you some clarity and... Um, Helps you know where things are headed and what's going on in their head and what you should do about it. So thank you for being here. If this resonated, I hope you'll give the video a thumbs up. It just helps my channel, y'all. Helps these videos get out to more people so they get the messages and the readings that they're meant to get. And um, I'm very grateful that you're here watching my videos. So thank you for that. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, group two. All right, we're gonna take a look at what is going on with your person and why are they acting this way? <laughs> All right, so let's look at your first card. Your card is number 62 and it says identifications. Let me see what spirit can give me on this. Spirit's saying that you are separated from your person right now in some way. You're not talking, you're not seeing each other, you're in a different place, something. Spirit's saying there needs to be some communication, okay? About why this separation happened or is happening. And we are gonna talk about that, I think a little bit in this reading. Spirit's saying you're very close. Sometimes you're almost too close, which is a weird thing to say. What do you mean by that? Okay, Spirit's saying sometimes, um, like when you're together or were together, you were so attached and so close That it was like you would lose your identity. You both, right? Yeah, you both would. Like lose your identity and the, you know, your individuality. You, you became like one, which in some ways is nice, right? But not if you're losing yourself in the process. Um, it's like you, you would come to rely on each other so much. That being apart really, in some ways, feels pretty unbearable, at least for some of you. But there is a lot of love there, for sure. But you do need to work through some of what's going on here. Okay, well, let's get some tarot cards on the table, and we'll see what's, you know, what's going on with your person. This kind of gives an indicator of your relationship. So you know if this reading is for you, obviously. But we'll get some tarot and um, get a better picture of what's going on with them. And then I have some message cards at the end. So hang on for the end and you'll get those. We have the moon reversed, knight of pentacles, the sun reversed, and the high priestess. 
And we're going to pull one more as an advice card for you from Spirit. And the advice is six of pentacles reversed. Okay. All right. Give me just a second. I want to take these cards in and listen for any initial messages that Spirit has for you. And then we'll talk about what's going on here. Give me just a second. Spirit's saying that they're not listening, that they've stopped listening to what's going on between the two of you. They've blocked it out for some reason. Spirit's saying they're hearing, but they're not listening. Does that make sense? It's like they hear, like, you, you know what that means. They're aware of the problems that you two, hold on, I'm sorry. Spirit's saying you are aware of the problems that, um, that, you all, that you both have experienced together in your relationship and like some miscommunication that goes on. But your person is, is not aware. I mean, maybe they are on some level, but it's very, very, very deep. It's like they don't want to know. Because they're afraid of what that means. What does it mean, Spirit? Spirit's saying, you know, if they... Um, If they pay attention to the problems, then it means there is a problem and they don't know how to fix it or there is a problem they don't know how to fix. And so they would rather block it out. Kind of just like put it to the side, pretend like it's not happening. I'm not sure if, because Spirit did give me that y'all were you're, were separated in some way, not speaking, not together, something. But I'm getting that it's not because of them. So this may have been your decision. Take that if it resonates. If it doesn't, um, then it's meant for somebody else watching. But Yeah, it's like it's like you you are aware and you're trying to do something, right? And they're um they're just blocking it out. Okay. Anything else you want to say about that spirit? All right, well, let's talk about the cards. So, the moon reversed is their first card. You know, when the moon is upright, we're not seeing things clearly. There are fears. We're seeing things like monsters under the bed kind of idea, you know. We're seeing something and... Um, 
we're imagining it's something bigger and worse and more terrible than it really is. But for your person, they're, it's like they're closing their eyes, they're not seeing it at all. They want to be deluded about this. Maybe not consciously. You know, maybe they're not actually deciding, you know, I don't want to know. Um, or maybe they are deciding they don't want to know. But it's like they have clarity. Um, like their their mind is very clear. They're not a they're not consciously like afraid or imagining terrible things. They're just choosing not to see them at all. And there are problems, right, in your relationship. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Spirit's saying they're not moving very quickly toward you or away from you. They're, they're more at a standstill than anything else. And still, I'm still not sure if you are the one that like, like broke things off or cut communication or they were or, or it's just a situation you happen to be in, you know, maybe you live in different places or something, but, and maybe the reason why I'm not getting that clearly is because it's going to be different for, you know, for many of you. that again yeah because what I'm getting is that they do want to be with you they're just moving very very slowly it's almost like they're procrastinating they don't want to jump the gun and move too fast <laughs> so something happened that you know Something happened. You guys know what happened in your relationship. But um, they are wanting to work their way back to you. In their mind, they're not quite sure what happened. And it's funny because I feel like you know very well what happened. Like, you're very clear on that. Which is why in the beginning, when Spirit said there needs to be some communication about this. And there isn't any right now. Because they're, they are, if they know it on some level, they're blocking it off. They're blocking it out. So they don't know. Or at least they're telling themselves they don't know. <laughs> All right. Then we have the sun reverse. They're not happy without you. Okay. Spirit's showing me, I'll, I'll show it to you upright, but in the upright, she's got this bird kind of um, in the middle of this bright sun, sunlight kind of thing. Anyway, they're just, they're saying it's like um, like a dark spot blotting out the sun for them. I get that they're kind of miserable. They they don't like being apart from you. They don't like being away from you. You are a part of them and, and they are a part of you in some way. And which comes back to this identifications card. Um it's like you're not yourselves when you're not together. But I do notice, if you look on this card, this the one person here has their hands behind their back and they're just standing there. The other one has their heart, you know, is holding a heart in front of them. And and that's kind of how I feel about you. Like you're, you've made some decisions, you have some understanding of what's going on. They're a little bit more clueless, right? They're in the shadow, but but they are carrying their heart and they're moving toward you. 
but you're just kind of waiting. That's how I'm getting that. Okay. And then we have the high priestess. See that? Okay. Hold on one sec, y'all. Yeah, they're giving me like, like secrets, but it's not secrets as in they're hiding something from you. It's more that they're hiding something from themselves, which is what we've seen here, right? You know, the high priestess is, she sits in front of a veil and in the traditional card, she sits in front of a veil and all the truths of the universe are behind the veil. And she sort of controls, you know, who has access. Your person is like their own high priestess right now. They're not allowing themselves behind the veil to understand what is going on with the two of you. They're, it's like they're preventing themselves. And we're going to, I'm going to pull some more cards. We're going to get a little deeper there. Because I, I want to know more about why are they, I want to know more. I'm sure you do too. <laughs> We have strength reversed, six of cups, three of pentacles reversed, queen of swords reversed. Okay. So the moon reversed and strength reversed what spirit is giving me is they are distraught. <laughs> it, whatever happened has kind of like stolen their confidence. They are genuinely not sure what happened. And I know you're here to find out what happened or what's going on with them and why are they acting this way? But the big answer is, that they don't know. <laughs> there, is, there is a big gap in communication between you. And what you think, I'm, a, I'm feeling anyway, what you think is very clear or should be clear or they should understand or know, they don't. And again, if they do on some level, it, they're, they're blocking it out. They don't, they don't recognize it. They don't see it. Anything else about the strength card? Okay, they're saying that your person doesn't want to be alone. They don't want to be with someone else though. Like they absolutely, it's like, when you look at the strength card upright, it's like, you know, the, the lion and the person, they have learned to coexist. They've learned to understand each other and respect each other. In reverse, your person does not. Like if you're wondering, are they out there dating or wanting to date someone else? They are not. They don't. They don't want to start over with someone else. They don't want to go through all that. They, they trust you and they appreciate what you guys have together. And whatever is broken is broken, but 
Um, they, I can tell you, they do not want to start over with someone else. So they're not out there dating. They're not um, meeting other people, if, if that's, you know, on your mind. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, Six of Cups. I told you with the Knight of Pentacles, they are working their way toward you. They think about you all the time. They want... Say that again. Spirit's saying they want to respect your privacy. They want to respect this space. But they also want to be in your life. <laughs> and so they are coming towards you. The Six of Cups is like a genuine gift from someone who, who cares about you. It's a token of love. It's a token of... Yeah, it's a token of love of some kind. They are coming towards you. It's just very slow. Very, very slow. Yeah, Spirit's saying they're not moving very fast. Why are they not moving fast? Yet part of them is not sure what you want. Like I said, they're a little bit confused of, of exactly what happened. They're not sure what you want. They're not exactly sure what to do. But they do know they want to come back to you. And they're kind of working out a way in their head, in their heart, how to do that the right way, the best way, the way that you will be open to. Interesting. All right. So then we have the sun reversed and the three of pentacles reversed. They're not happy with the situation. Again, they're not, with the three of pentacles reversed, they're definitely not dating anyone else. There is no third person. There is no third party, at least on their end. What else did you want to say about this? They want to be clear about that. So that's something they want to tell you. Um, maybe, you know, maybe there was some accusation or something. Or maybe they just assume that you, or they think that you are assuming they are. I don't know exactly. But they are wanting to clear that up. There is no one else. There never has been. And from their point of view, there isn't going to be. You are their one. They just don't know how to get you back. They don't know how to bring this full circle again and, and fix it. It's like there's somebody who likes to fix things, needs to fix things. They don't know how to fix this. Because they're not entirely sure what's wrong. And that may be, you know, a double-edged sword there. All right. Then we have, again, the High Priestess with the Queen of Swords reversed. So they're, they're blocking out some information that probably you feel they absolutely should know. They're not listening to their own, even their own like the, that niggling in their gut, you know, that's telling them something. It's like they know something's wrong, but they're not listening. Really, they're not listening to you or they weren't listening to you. That's the truth. Anything else, they're sort of squashing. Tucking it behind the veil, <laughs> behind the curtain. And with the Queen of Swords reversed, they're they're a little bit afraid of what you will say when you do talk, how you will react. Um, like what will come out and you know, what I think they're really afraid of whatever the problem was. They really like don't, like they don't want to know. 
and they're afraid it's going to come out in the open, but it needs to come out in the open. Like, it needs to be point blank. Like, this is what happened. This is what's going on. This is what I know. This is whatever. But they're a little bit of, they're afraid of your reaction um, and what you will say. That's what Spirit's saying. They're afraid of what you're going to say. All right, I'm going to pull one more card for the advice, and then we'll talk about the advice here. Ace of Cups. Okay. So the advice from Spirit for you is Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Let's see. Hold on. Tell me again, Spirit. Spirit is saying for you to go with the flow and not force things. Not um, And I don't feel like you are forcing things, which is why I'm, I'm, I'm really listening because I want to make sure I'm understanding what they're telling you. Spirit's saying when you communicate, Don't overgive and undergive. Okay, that makes sense. So the Six of Pentacles. Um, in the traditional card, it's it's a little bit easier to understand, but there is a person who has like a bunch of money and, and they're sort of balancing the scales by divvying out the money to paupers. Um, but there can be... Um, a sense like when it's upright, like they only give just enough, right? This person's still rich. These people are still poor. In reverse, spirit wants you to go easy. Um, take things one step at a time. I'm sorry, say that again, Spirit. Yeah, one of the things they're saying is that you need to take what is given from them. I don't know what they're giving. Maybe communication, it may be some gesture of love. Um, but to go with the flow, go at their pace is what it is. Like don't over, don't overburden them with your stuff, but also don't underburden them. You know what I mean? Like when you do come back together and it is happening <clears throat> slowly, but it will happen. You also need to take your time. You know, like give a little bit and then wait for them to give back in return. Like make it more, um, make it more about them is what Spirit's saying. Okay. Yeah, Spirit's saying they need to receive, but at their own pace. You, you know, I feel like you, you, you are a little bit more um, like action oriented, right? Where they're a little bit slower, a little bit more 
could be a little bit more stubborn, um, a little bit more slow to move to make changes. So go with spirits and go at their pace. Don't overgive and don't overtake. Just go at their pace. And then with the Ace of Cups, again, they're saying accept, accept what they have to offer. Accept, you know, not to say you have to accept them back if you don't want to. It's not that, of course, you have free will. You can do what you want. But be open to it is, is probably the better way to say it. When they come to you with some gesture or some, whether it's an apology or a gesture of love or a gift of love or something, a message of love, whatever it is, a token, be open to it. And take what they give you. If it is a thing, take it. Don't give it back. Don't refuse it. Take it. Because it means something to them. It actually means a lot to them. For, for, for some reason. Okay. Well, that's a little bit of advice for you. I'm going to pull some message cards now. Unless there, is there anything else, Spirit, you wanted to say about that? Okay. All right. Let's get some messages for you. I love you, but I also like you. This came up in the last reading too. It's a special message, meaning, yes, they love you, but you're also close and they, they get you, right? They enjoy your company. I don't know. I, I love that message. And things aren't what they seem. I haven't completely healed from the past. The idea of forever freaks me out. <laughs> okay. I have never cried this much over anyone. Hmm. Okay. I'm not ready for love. Might be why they're going so slowly also. They do love you though. I think about you all the time. Any more spirit? Yeah, okay.
I need time alone right now. And I miss you. I miss you. I love that. Well, they are struggling. That's for sure. They're confused. They're a little bit lost. They're a little bit hurt. They're not sure what to do. And that's just... Uh, and again, they're not sure what happened. So when you have a chance to communicate, remember that, that it's not just an act. They're not just pretending. They genuinely don't know what happened. So take that as it resonates for you and your person and your relationship. And I hope this gave you some answers um, and gave you some insight and a little bit of advice and um, I'm going to wish you the best because this is, uh, it feels like such a good, beautiful connection. Um, so I hope, you know, if what you want is for it to work out, that it, that it does. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for being here. If you liked the video, if it resonated, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me and it's free. It's super easy. So thank you. And um, thanks for being here. I just appreciate you watching. Thanks, y'all. Bye-bye. Hey, group three. All right, we're gonna take a look at your person. We're gonna find out what's going on with them. Why are they acting this way? Whatever way they're acting, you know. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna start with your Oracle card. And you have card number 12, and it's superficiality. All right, give me just a second. I wanna get some messages from Spirit so that we can kick off this reading with some information, right? So you know you're in the right reading. You know this is your person we're talking about. All right, so what Spirit is giving me is that um, it may feel like your person is playing games. It may seem like that. They are playing a little bit hard to get. They're playing like a little bit of like cat and mouse they're giving me. They want you to like them, but they're not ready to like jump in and commit yet. They're truthfully, they're making sure that this is the right relationship, that you're the right person. And they're not, Spirit's not saying that you are not, like that they, it, it's nothing negative, okay? So I um, hope I, I'm saying this the right way. They're trying to make sure. And so it looks like, it appears to you like they're playing games. But in reality, they're playing a little bit hard to get, but it's not a game to them. It's, it's them wanting to be sure before they go, things go too far if that makes sense. All right, anything else you wanna say about that spirit? Okay, yeah, they wanted me to show you the card and I don't know how well you can see this, but you know, there's a, and forget gender, right? It's not about that, but there's a, a woman here and then there's a little man up here, up in this tower, you know, where it's, he's difficult to get to, right? Hard to get. And down here is his heart and his crown. And it's down on the ground on this plain, you know, like this chessboard. Spirit's saying they have a big heart. And you can see this is a big heart, right? They have a big heart. And they're willing to give it away. But if you notice this little man up here, he's pointing in, in the opposite direction of his heart. Maybe really hard to see, I don't know. But he is, he's pointing in the opposite direction of where his heart is over here. Kind of like, look over here, um, instead of at my this big heart that I have. 
um, it's like they don't want you to get too close. They don't want to get too close to you. They don't want to give their heart away or for you to see that their heart is kind of already in it. Like their heart is in it already. But before they dive in with both feet, they really just want to be sure. They don't want to mislead you. They don't want to lead you on. They're trying to do the right thing, truthfully. It may feel like to you, like I said, like they're playing games, like they're being superficial, like they are. Um, I don't know, being a player, but that is not it at all. They actually have a very big heart and they do have feelings for you. They're just giving themselves the time to feel it all out and, and be sure. So I hope that helps. Okay. All right, let's get a little more information. Let's get some cards on the table. Let's see what else Spirit has to tell us about your person and why they're acting this way. We have Ace of Wands reversed, Knight of Wands reversed, the Tower reversed, and the Page of Cups. And I'm gonna pull one more card just as act to act as an advice card for you from Spirit. You know, as it as it relates to your relationship or you and your person. And the advice is Eight of Cups reversed. All right. Um, and of course, I've got some, uh, you know, some additional tarot cards. We'll get even deeper on this. And I have some message cards for you at the end. So stick around to the end. But for now, give me just a sec. I want to take these cards in. I want to listen for messages from Spirit. And then we'll talk about what's going on here. So give me just a sec, y'all. Spirit's saying they're in a place where they are ready to love again after having been in a difficult relationship situation. Um, they were hurt. And um, Spirit's saying they also hurt their person. You know, it goes kind of both ways. It, not intentionally, but it did happen and they're aware of that. And they want to make sure they don't do that again. Okay, spirits kind of, they're indicating that they're kind of with you. So I hope that resonates with you. If it doesn't, you know, leave it. It must be belong to someone else. But what they're giving me is that they are in between relationships. Like they had a former relationship that something happened, didn't work out, it ended, it was difficult. And they are not in a relationship right now, really. So this may be very new and it just hasn't been kind of formalized yet. Or maybe this is somebody you've just been talking with or flirting with or had some interaction with, but it's, it doesn't feel like a full, like a full blown relationship at this point. 
Um, maybe you've gone on some dates, but I guess in their, from their point of view, they're not in a relationship. So it does not mean that they do not want to be, Spirit is saying, because they, they do. They're ready. Their heart is ready. They just want to make sure it's with the right person. And you may be it. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> the first card is the Ace of Wands in reverse. Again, Spirit's saying they want to be sure before they take a leap. Even before they get um, physical, they're, they're, Spirit's saying they're not one, or at least they're not right now, one to jump into a physical relationship without feelings behind it. So you may have noticed, or you will, um, or it's just good to know that um, they're not particularly physical with you right now. And it's because they're still trying to feel things out. They want to be sure. It's not because they don't find you attractive or, um, or because they don't want to, right? <laughs> it, it's not in them to do it that way to do it without having feelings behind it. Okay. Then we have the Knight of Wands reversed. Yeah, Spirit's saying they're not a player. They're not trying to date around and, you know, get with as many people as possible. They're certainly not just out there trying to have sex. If there's any concern about that, absolutely not. Spirit's saying, are they sexual? Yes, right? Are they... Um, into having random sex with strangers? No. So you can know that. They do have like a fiery personality. They do have... Um, like that energy about them. It may even be very sexual energy. Like when you talk to them, it, you may feel it. But they sort of are keeping it under wraps. And that really is their style. Um, it's not just, it doesn't feel like this is a right now thing. It feels like that's who they are. But once you get to know them and the feelings are um, established and confirmed you will see a new side of them for sure. A very fun and exciting side, Spirit is saying. Okay. Then we have the tower in reverse. Okay. The Spirit's wanting to point out, I'm going to show it to you upright, that in this particular tower, this person looks like a woman, but this person is holding onto the tower like for dear life. Right, trying to hold it together while it is crashing and crumbling to the ground. Okay, Spirit's saying they know that they have a tendency to become very attached to to part to their partner. They like to feel safe in a relationship, and so. Once they do, and it may take a minute for that to happen, but once they do, they do tend to hold on. They're one of those people who, which I can relate to, one of those people who um, doesn't get attached easily, but when it happens, they become very, very attached so that no matter what, they're not going anywhere, right? which is why this previous relationship was probably so difficult for them. They may have been ready to be out of this relationship, you know, on both sides. 
but they found themselves still hanging on for some reason. And so they're being really, really careful to not make that mistake again. To kind of like be in their own power, to be in their own energy, to be able to stand on their own. And to like partner with somebody of, of equal feelings and equal energy so it doesn't become like a codependent or, you know, a, an overly attached sort of situation. They, they, they've grown beyond that tendency. Um, but they still have a little bit of fear there that they could become that person again. And so they're just very, very cautious about that. Okay, and then we have the Page of Cups. Spirit's saying they are, um, they have feelings for you, yes. And those feelings are growing. And they're going to come toward you. It may be in baby steps. It may be um, slow, right? They will want to take it slowly. But when they do um, make these steps toward you, it feels very romantic. It feels very nurturing and caring and open right? So while it may feel like they're playing games right now, right? Like they're playing hard to get, they're playing games with me, they're probably seeing other people, like that may be how you're feeling. It's really them trying to manage their own energy, manage their own tendencies, protect their own heart as well as yours. But the minute they feel safe and they feel sure, you're going to see a new side of them. And it will be lovely. It'll be absolutely lovely. That's how it feels to me. All right, let's get a little more information here. Let's see what else Spirit can tell us about what's going on with your person and why are they acting this way? <laughs> you know, maybe they're being standoffish. Um, like want to talk to you sometimes, avoid you other times, that kind of thing. King of Swords, the Devil, <laughs> the Magician reversed, the Star reversed, and I'm going to pull one more for the advice, even though we haven't talked about the advice yet. We will in a minute. And seven of pentacles. It's great. Okay. So the ace of wands reversed and the king of swords. Again, they're, they're managing their own energy. They are keeping things very strategic, very logical, very brain-based right now. They're not letting their heart get away from, away from them right now. It doesn't. Not, it does not mean that they don't have a big heart. And spirit is re like reconfirming that they do have a big heart, and once they give it to you, um, you will experience the fullness of that. 
but right now it doesn't seem that way and it's because they're very much in their head like managing <laughs> managing themselves managing the situation from a very logical very strategic point of view they're, they're staying in control of their thoughts and in control of their heart through their thoughts okay then we have the knight of wands reversed and the devil they're not a player they're not um they're not playing games with you but they understand again their own tendency to become very attached to someone that they love sometimes overly attached sometimes to the point of like codependency in the past spirit saying it's not so much like that now they have learned and they have grown from that and evolved from that but they're very self-aware and so they know that this is in them somewhere right and they just don't want to they don't want to go there again um, because it's not good for for either of you. All right, so then we have the tower reversed and the magician reversed. They're protecting their own power. They, in fact, they're hiding their own power, which is interesting. They don't want to reveal all of their cards right now. They know that if they started to express their feelings for you, if they started to open up more too soon, they will lose their ability they feel that they will lose their ability to be themselves like they will lose themselves in this relationship they will lose their power and it's really important to them that they not latch on that they not lose their power that they not lose themselves because they've done that before and they understand the ramifications of that and that it doesn't end well. And that's not what they're looking for. They're looking for a long-term relationship. They're looking for love. That's what they want, regardless of how it appears, right? From the outside looking in. So we have Page of Cups and the Star Reversed. I do feel at some point they will open up their heart to you. If given the chance, they will. They're not there yet. With the star reversed, they're hoping, they're hopeful. They see in you so many possibilities and potential. They're just not ready to go there yet. They're hesitating. They just need more time. But the star card is a beautiful card of of beautiful things coming into manifestation, right? Of love and hope and relationship. It's all there. And just because the card is in reverse doesn't mean it's not there. It just means it's not ready. It's not ready. They're not ready. So what's the advice for you? Eight of Cups reversed and the Seven of Pentacles. If this is someone you like, if this is a relationship you are hoping will um, or wish would come into fruition, you wish this person would, you know, give you more of their heart. Spirit is saying, first off, be patient, right? 
The seeds have been planted. The results are growing. The flowers of this relationship are starting to blossom, but you can't force it. You have to give it the time it needs to mature. And in the meantime, it may feel like this person doesn't care. But if it's still something you want, don't walk away. Don't give up. Stay in communication. Stay in contact. Keep reminding them who you are. Keep reminding them that you are a safe um, person, right? Show them your true self. That's what Spirit's saying. It's your true self. It's you that they will fall for if given the chance. But it can't happen if you walk away, if you give up. And it, it, does, it is going to require some patience. So there's that. All right. Anything else, Spirit, on that before we get to messages? Okay. Spirit is saying there is no guarantee that this will turn into to like a, something, into a big love affair. There's no guarantee. At this point, you have to trust and try, they're saying. And don't give up. Unless you want to, right? Like you have free will. If you, but if this is a person that you genuinely like and you genuinely want to, genuinely want to uh, pursue and hopefully date and be in a relationship with, give it time. Be patient. Don't walk away. Keep showing them and reminding them who you are. And then the cards will play out as they are meant to. Um, Spirit saying, there's no guarantee, but there is a good chance that this um, will become what you are hoping for. Okay. All right, let's get some messages. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, I wish I had handled things differently. I think I think they feel that way about the past. You expect too much from me. I'm not going anywhere. My life changed when I met you. That's beautiful. Spirit's saying that you remind them that love can exist, that love is real, and that there is hope. They haven't really felt that with anyone else until now, since their last relationship. You are so much better than me. I don't deserve you. Hmm. Interesting. You bring out the best in me. I love that. You still have more spirit? One more? I got another one. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm so proud of how far you've come. I don't know what that one means, but hopefully you do, or hopefully it means something specific to someone. Oh. Say that again. Spirit saying this is how they're feeling about themselves because they know they've made so much progress since their past, right? They're proud of how far they've come. And they're ready to take that leap again. That's lovely. Anything else, Spirit? No. Okay. All right, well, I hope that helps y'all. I hope that gives you a little bit of hope for this person because it sounds like they've been acting a little, a little wonky. Um, but now maybe you know, now you understand why. So I'm wishing you luck with this and with them and I hope all goes well. Feel free to drop me a comment down below and let me know more if you feel like it, if you feel called to do that. I love reading your comments. Thank you so much for being here. If you like the video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Thanks y'all. Bye-bye.